In Miro you can achieve a type of voting through emojis and through the plugin, the voting plugin. We will look at the voting plugin next. First, if you need a quick way to get a gauge of people preferences, you can direct them to the post-it, to the add emoji, and then from that list, you can indicate what your voting convention is. For example, thumbs up, thumbs down. This is a quick way and if you click on other post-its, you can add one vote. You cannot vote more than once. If you click it again, your vote is taken away. The downside of this is that this, is, this type of voting is leading, so the group will see where most of the votes are and that might trigger group thinking and that might not be what you want. The voting plugin allows for anonymous voting. And so I just wanted to show you if you are sharing your board and someone has already added an emoji, people can just click that and the vote goes up. So they don't have to go in and find the emoji submenu. This is actually part of the problem with how leading this type of voting is because you will only see what people has already put in there. Uh, obviously, if they click the post-it and they locate the emoji, they can see what was used recently or they just go find whatever else, as well as, of course, typing. And now everyone else will be able to add on the fire as well. And so I'm just visiting the same board as a, as a guest. As you see, the fire is there, the thumbs up is there, so I can click both fire, both thumbs up. If I click it again, the count will go down. And um, I mentioned earlier, if you click on emojis, you will see recent for you. So this person, I just opened this incognito session. There is no recent. So if you want to find the thumbs down, you basically just have to scroll through. So both Miro and Mural have anonymous voting and they're both pretty good. Miro has uh, the voting mechanism down here, the thumbs up. So when you click on that, you basically, um, uh, you can basically start the voting session. So you name it. Let's call it like that. You can set the duration of this voting session. So let's say three minutes, how many votes per person. And so once you set this up, you can save it for later. And this is where uh, I think Miro does a better job than Miro. It gives you the opportunity to select a voting area. Like in this case, you see uh, the whole board is selected. But you can change that and say, well, you know what? Let's assume that this orange area is where we have our action items and so let's just make sure that that is the only space that you can vote on top of that you can say only vote on those elements so far we've only talked about sticky notes but there is text shapes cards and images and you can control that in Miro uh, so let's save this vote for later so this is the area that is going to be votable and I'm going to add some funny image of a sunset and basically I'm gonna do the same in mural as well so you'll see a little bit the difference of the two tools so when I add an image here uh, maybe on the uh, I'm gonna do that as the background of my of my area so I'm gonna send that to back and this is where maybe we say we add uh, we add our action items so now this voting session is there, it's stored. So as a facilitator, you can prepare this before your session on your board and then go back. And this sometimes is closed, sometimes is open. You click that and voting and the prioritization of actions. And let me actually change this to the actual uh, size of this image. So now if uh, I want to start the voting session, I can go here. And by the way, let's look at this from the visitor. So in uh, internet, uh, in Edge, not Explorer, in Edge, um, if you if you look, it's now down down here. Voting session is available. Only board editors can start a voting session. So I'm a guest editor, not a board editor. So I cannot uh, allegedly start the voting, but 
I can mess up the voting or not. I can't, I can just change stuff. Honestly, I feel that this is a half-baked feature. Uh, it used to be that you, you as a visitor, guest editor, you could change this stuff. And I think they just change it and it's okay. It's just, um, in my opinion, just a little bit confusing that you can even get there. Uh, but it's good that you cannot change it. And uh, so if I go back here, I bet this is still there, Pristine. And let's start the voting. So on the other side, voting is closed, blah, blah, blah. And I'm gonna start voting now. So there's a two minute. And the first thing you'll notice is there's no uh, timer anywhere going on. That thumbs up, uh, that will be giving notifications about the time left. So on this side, as the one of the participants, you will see this message that says two minutes left. Uh, Enrico, blah, 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 started voting. So you can click vote now. And this will highlight the space where you can vote. First weird thing, <laughs> only the small post-its are voting, uh, are votable. So this is a bug um, and it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So just be prepared. Sometimes stuff like this happens. I don't know why the large post-it doesn't, uh, is not votable. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's just carry on with the with the voting session. Let's do. Let's click done. There is um, looks like there is more time left. If you change your mind, you can go back, and I think you should be able to. Oh no, you're not. Right, you can do that in uh, in mirror in a uh, mural, but not in mirror. So in uh, in mirror, once you voted. That's it, man. You are, you better vote right. <laughs> Otherwise, once the ballot is in, is in. Here's the other, I think, issue on, on this. As the facilitator on this side, I do not know that everyone else has voted. So um, I can click vote now. Same bug, I cannot click on this. I don't know why, that's kind of annoying. But yeah, and I can put the votes uh, all on one or not. Of course, if you are during your voting session, you can click on the minus here. I think there is a shortcut as well with shift or something or control. No, I think you can just do it there. But yeah, I just want to talk about topic three so I can do that. Thank you. And again, right now everyone has voted. I do not know as the facilitator that everyone has done that. So usually when I'm in uh, locked in in Miro, I ask the group, hey, can you put a word in the chat when you are uh, done voting? So you can also end the voting for all, and then you get to this uh, scenario where you have to wait <laughs> uh, for the results to be processing. You see them up there, which is good. It takes a little while to process. If we look at on the other side, um, there isn't really anything saying stuff, uh, but if you click on the voting tool, uh, it'll say there's this completed voting. And yeah, you can basically see that uh, topic three won. So this is voting inside Miro. And I feel that I want to compare it with Mural right away. So this is not uh, bad. It's just, I mean, this is buggy. I don't understand why that didn't work. Why, that wasn't, why I was unable to vote for that. It, it's kind of crazy since that, um, now let's do another test, test to voting. And again, sticky note text. Um, I did not select images and that is a, uh, that is something to keep in mind. If you left everything on like this and okay, it's 10, let's just do it for uh, shits and giggles and vote now. So you see now I can vote the background as well. Now I can vote this as well. So that's, I don't know, that's strange because that is a that is a post-it note. And I don't understand why earlier it wasn't picked up. So to me, that is a, that is a bit of a bug, something to keep in, uh, in mind. So let's do another test and create another voting session, voting three. Uh, again, let's change it to this area, loop for the images and go back to just the sticky notes. 15 minutes, time per vote, start now. And vote now, and now it works. 
So I don't know. I mean, it's recorded. Uh, it's just, yeah. One thing I noticed and one thing I know, sometimes if the um, if the area is very close to the post-its, that will prevent from um, that will prevent you from voting that. But in this case, it was pretty large, so I was very surprised that it wasn't working. Rewatching this in post-production, I noticed that the area for the voting session in my first test was pretty close to the larger post-it um, shadow. So I think that might have been the problem. Uh, still, I think it's a bug, but make sure that like in the second example, you create an area that is vastly larger than the, than the post-it to prevent this issue, or at least let us know. Again, those tools have bugs. So if this was happening in a session and someone said, hey, I cannot vote, I want to vote this thing, I cannot vote it, um, come up with a fallback plan. Usually what I do is I just say, hey, uh, just uh, find an icon and put an icon on it. What I will do, I will just go on icon, uh, token, uh, find a token, put the token next to the, to the one that you cannot vote. So just improvise, basically. So what about... Mural. Well, I'm going to put that in the next segment.